Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting kind of review slash discussion on A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, the book along with the movie, which I'm so excited to be talking about to you guys. This is going to be a spoiler free video, I just personally decided to keep it that way so that everybody could watch it and enjoy it and hear about this book's awesomeness and the movie's awesomeness. If you've read the book and you're excited for the movie or anything like that, I just want you guys to get excited with me because I cannot wait to talk with you guys about this book. First off though, I do want to say thank you so much to Focus Features who sent me this book and also allowed me to see the movie early last month, which was such an exciting experience and just really wonderful overall. So thank you so much, Focus Features, for that. It was so kind of you to send me the book, invite me to the movie, all that good stuff. But other than that, I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the book, a little bit about the movie. Again, all spoiler free, so feel free to watch if you're interested in the book or movie. This book is one that I had heard many people talk about on booktube before, but it was never one that I thought to pick up because I had a lot of the time seen it labeled as a middle grade book, a lot of the time seen it labeled as like a dystopian or something that I wouldn't really be interested in, not really my go-to genre I should say. And I never really thought about reading it until I saw the movie and I heard about the movie and I kind of like realized more what it was about. I didn't really know what it was about. I'd heard of Patrick Ness's other books and they always kind of sounded interesting to me but I was kind of like, eh, like it's kind of at the back of my list. I've actually met Patrick Ness as well and he was just like so kind and phenomenal so I should have known that his books would be phenomenal as well but once I finally got to read the story I just fell in love with it and it was nothing like I was expecting. I didn't expect it to be as wonderful and brilliant and vibrant as it was. If you do not know, this book follows a boy named Connor who's having some trouble at school and at home. He's bullied and he's at home with his mother who's sick with cancer and she's probably going to be dying soon. And he also is really interested in art and being creative, but it's really hard for him dealing with all the stress of school life and home life and everything's just becoming so overwhelming for him. And one night, the big tree that's always been outside his window comes to life and teaches him some really important lessons about truths and life and it's just extraordinary. It's such a wonderful story and I just know that this is going to stick with me far long after this video, far long after this year, honestly. I did not expect to relate to this book as much as I did um, because he does deal with his mother who has cancer. My mother doesn't have cancer, but my aunt just passed away last week from a long, long battle with cancer. And I really related to his feelings towards it. And losing somebody when you've never lost somebody is a whole new experience and it's really hard. And being his age, Connor's age, which is like young, I think he's 11 or something like that, I can't even imagine, so it was just phenomenal. If you've not read this book, I recommend it so much. Like, I literally think you should go read it, but if you don't feel like reading it, the movie has just come out today um, all across America, so you should definitely go see the movie as well, because I will tell you guys, this movie is phenomenal. It is literally one of the best book-to-movie adaptations I think I've ever seen. Um, it was so wonderful seeing the actual pages be brought to life, seeing the monster, seeing Connor and the mother and just everybody. I thought it was casted so well. The little boy that played Connor was amazing. The person that played the mom was amazing. Liam Neeson as the monster was pretty amazing as well. I absolutely loved the filming style, the cinematography. Everything was so beautiful and just Oh, I loved it so much and it made me cry like an absolute baby. So if you're not into like a sad book or a sad movie, um, this might not be the one for you. But definitely if you're going to see this movie, bring your tissues because it is so sad and I wasn't knowing this going into the movie that I was going to cry as much as I did but I literally cried for half of the movie like that's how bad it was but I love this movie. I thought it was so phenomenal. I think everybody can appreciate the movie and respect it in a different way and have a different you know way to relate to it and just Ah, oh, I loved it. If you do have a chance to go see this film, I highly recommend it. I'm so grateful for Focus Features allowing me to see it last month in Boston because it was just such an experience. I went with my boyfriend. We both bawled. We both loved it so much. If you didn't watch my Vlogmas episode where we actually went to the movie premiere, you can see a little bit from that day. I'll have it linked down below. But other than that, if you guys have any questions on the book or the movie or anything like that, of course leave them down below or you can tweet me or message me on Instagram, whichever. All that will be linked down below as well. 
I don't really want to go into detail about this book or into detail about the movie unless you guys have questions because I just kind of wanted this video to be welcoming for everybody that hasn't seen the movie or read the book and just kind of telling you go see the movie and go read this book because they're both phenomenal. It will not let you down. The book reads like a contemporary so if you're on my channel you probably love contemporary books. It reads like one so you know you should be good um, with that and the movie is just so great so wonderful like you'll enjoy it I promise. Other than that though I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I really hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye! Caught like a jewel, yeah, I rip myself when you're not there. So